Hi, we're Beth and Scott, and this is from our stay at Pikes Peak RV Park in October of 2023. Well, this is what happened when I wanted to video here. First, when you're looking for an RV park or campground, where do you go for your research? I often use YouTube to find reviews and information because we all know their website can be either deceiving or just not have enough information. So upon arrival at this RV park, I started videotaping for the park. Keep watching to hear what happened while I was recording. So when you first enter off the street, you will come in over this bridge. The office is straight ahead. <coughs> to the right, I'll insert a map so you can see, but there's 36 and 35. This is Creekside, show you the creek. It's October, 2023, so I'm sure the flow is often higher and then we'll, we'll kind of go around here so on the far left is the office and connected to the office is a little kind of like a little dining area I'll go inside take a picture I forgot what you said okay all right, thank you. And then right next to the office is the laundry room, which I'll show you inside. So there are three regular washers, three well, I guess these might be a little larger, you know? I didn't even check. No, actually, I mean, they look larger, but they're probably about the same. And six dryers. There's a change machine. Small folding table. And that's it. Okay, so back at the entrance of the office. Go around this side of the building. And you have the restrooms and showers the men's and then the women's and I got to get the code the restrooms were nice and appeared to be very clean all of the showers looked like they had recently been renovated so that was nice and also this sink area the uh, stalls looked a little bit older with some rust but as I said, everything was clean, so that was what was important to me. So again, right from the entrance there, there's the entrance. This is 36, 37, or 36, 35, 34, 33, and on down. Beautiful tree. Oops, wrong way. There we go. And then down this way is the back of the building. <clears throat> oh, another mini Winnie. Nice. And then down this way, there's another row. So you've got this backside. All of the uh, sites here are full hookups. So that's nice. That is 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. On down. This is 55 and 56. 54 on the end. Pull back a little bit. And then uh, this is 37, 38, we are right here. 39, 39. and on up. It looks like there's a little covered area over here. Kind of a picnic area, I guess. Check that out. No, it's just one covered area. Oh, maybe it's a long-term or a host because they've got lights on it. Oh, here we go. That one looks long-term with the skirting on it and wooded area back there 
you're right on the road. It's Manitou uh, Street Avenue, I'm not sure. And there's a highway up there, but it's not too bad. I mean, you still feel like you're out in the, the woods. It's really pretty. There we go. At this point, a female employee came over to me and asked if I was taking video and told me I wasn't allowed to do that because it invades the privacy of the guests. I was pretty surprised and I mentioned that I make them for the purpose of reviewing the park on YouTube and pointed out that literally no one was outside their RVs right now where I was just recording, but she still said no. I said, what if I blur the license plates? No. Could I just make a sweeping video of the park from the office, only showing sections and not up close? No. Okay, so I was done. Then on our last day as we were packing up to leave that morning, the general manager, Cheryl, came over and apologized for what the other employee had told me that other day. I mentioned how helpful YouTube videos are to RVers and travelers and that generally we had a great time. We loved our beautiful site next to the creek. And she said it was perfectly fine to post the videos I took and we agreed that the employee was probably just being a bit overprotective. So to her credit, I really appreciated that and can now post this video.